This is your Safari tra uh, translation in front of your eyes. Jesus is the Holy Son. Can a man be a Holy Son? This is Yusuf Ali translation. How man can be holy if he is just a man? He can? Okay, take the mic. Don't give me a speech. Go ahead. Oh, I have a mic. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh, okay. All right. Um, first of all, if you go back to like you quoted the verse, what he said, I give you um, uh, uh, a messenger from the Lord to announce to thee the gift of a holy son. That a holy son has not, doesn't prove that he's a son of God, like you know, like how you Christians believe. It, ho you know, a holy son. It, you know, we believe that he is holy because he's a prophet of God. Right, I mean, so of course he's holy. He, he and he's he's the the only miracle that I mean, he's a prophet of miracles. So his his birth was uh, that of a miracle. And uh, again, what is this person saying? Muhammad is. Ma Mama, Muhammad has nothing to do with this. Okay, you're asking me about the verse in the the, the Quran where it said where where you use Ali translated, and he said that you know this is a messenger uh, that he the, the angel says to her that he's a messenger from the Lord to announce to her that the gift of a holy son. Okay, of course I believe Muhammad is holy. <laughs> what are you asking me? You ask me to translate to you the verse. You know, see the reason the reason that the that you wait let me explain to you this and I'll give you the mic okay the reason that the the angels had to come to Mary and tell her about this because the, the conception of 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 Isa alayhi salam was not that of a regular man okay he he was he was uh, his 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 um his conception was by by Allah's command to be and he was okay so this is why the angels had to come to her and tell her, okay, you, 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 the, the child that you'll be bearing is a holy son. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave her that uh, the, the angels gave her that the angel would give her that message, so that she would know that this is why she's pregnant. It's not that you know she just became pregnant just like out of thin air, so she understands. Okay, she became pregnant because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala wanted to bless her with Isa alayhi salam as a son of hers. Okay, and. Uh, as far as Muhammad being a prophet of God, yes, he is a prophet of God and he is holy. Um, I, I, I believe that. Uh, so uh, now the mic is yours. Can you show me one verse in the Quran mentioning that any human being is holy except Jesus Christ? If you can show me that, you will be my hero for today. I challenge you, Nari Akbar. This is your translation, the one you ask for. Only Jesus Christ is holy. Your prophet is a sinner. Can you show me one sin Jesus Christ he did? Holy is someone who do not do sin. Is that correct, guys? Holy is someone he do not do sin and then he is not a human because your prophet he said which means he commits sin every human he do sin so when you say Jesus is holy this is mean Jesus he is an exception now we know what in the front of the room I have no problem you said all the prophets are holy? Okay. Show me where it says all the prophets are holy. We just showed you that Satan controlling your prophet is speaking by his mouth. If he's holy, Satan cannot even, cannot even make him do anything. Like, even, you know, make him make a small sin. Like, you know what? Hey, Muhammad, what about you? Look at that, uh, uh, that thing. Like, you know, about you steal that thing. You know, steal money. Or what about any sin, any kind of sin. But the Quran proved that your prophet is a big time sinner. And even your God, Allah, saying, We are going to forgive you for your past sin and your coming sin. So he was a sinner in the past, and he's a sinner in the future. 
But Jesus, he never commits sin. Now I will give you the mic, Nadi Akbar. Show me where in the Quran there is any human being mentioned as holy except Jesus Christ. Your mic. You see guys, if we give Muslims different book, different translation, they will say we don't accept it. Now they are in trouble. They are accepting that. Will you order Jibreel a brother, he don't answer me. If he took the mic, Nali Akbar, this guy, he have to give me proofs. If you want to give me speech, you are not choosing the person to, you know, no speeches in here. As you see, when I say something to you, I don't give a speech, I give a proofs. Take the mic, Mr. Jibreel. Give me proof that Quran says anyone is holy, not only Jesus. Go ahead. Hello? Can you guys hear? <coughs> All right. Now let's go back to the verse in question, right? He asked me, simple, I mean, really understand, guys. He asked me, do you agree, okay, that this is a translation from the... I said, yeah, Yusuf Ali, uh, I said, uh, um, you know, uh, Pikta, right? Did I say that's the word of God? I say Pikta, Yusuf Ali, you know, that's a translation, fine, you know, we can look at it. But what I try to say in town, you know, Alhamdulillah, as Muslims, we we're Arabic, we're Arabic, okay? Nail Akbar. Get me a man, not a kid. We as a Muslim, Alhamdulillah, and we as a Muslim, Mashallah, and we as a Muslim, Wallah, it, it doesn't count. Give me reference, no speeches. Show me where the Quran says anyone is holy, not only Jesus. If you can show me that, you proved your point. I showed you from your translation, the one you choose. Guys, did he choose Yusuf Ali? Yes, he did. Not me who chose it. You accept it. I ask you, what do you choose? I change it to choose one. You said Yusuf Ali. I showed you from the one you choose that Jesus is holy. Now show me a verse from Yusuf Ali that anyone else is holy. Anyone. Except Allah. There is no one in the Quran